this will be the pack that I'm going to give away once I reach a thousand subscribers. Uh, what would you put in it so I can add more stuff to it? What would you like in a pack if you had a bug out bag and you needed a pack? What else would you like in a pack? I have like cordage, I have a blanket, and that's tarp. I do have a first aid kit, a trash bag, contractor bag, I have shears, a tourniquet, two tourniquets in this pack. It has a tourniquet, SWAT tea, soft tea, and a cat tourniquet. Open it up here. It does have an Israeli bandage. Israeli bandage it has uh, MPA, it has uh, gecko tape, uh, gauze, and quick clot. Lots of it's a trauma kit. It wasn't too cheap, but it's a good kit. Now let's take a look at the top. And here I have a headlamp. I have a lot of redundancy in this pack, so you will not run out. I do have a rain poncho quick to grab a rain poncho and put it on. And batteries for the headlamp. I do have a Kershaw knife. It's a nice one. It's like a $50 knife. It's nice. I hope you enjoy it. And a sharpening stone. And a lighter. The other compartment in here is where I keep my like utensils and toothbrushes and all that kind of stuff. So I have zip ties. You never know when you're going to need zip ties. Two toothbrushes. They're not out of the package. I Don't worry, I didn't use them before I give them to you. Um, this is another knife. So this is a long ship uh, thorium knife. It's a good little knife, and it does have a knife sharpener on it. This is a knife sharpener. Just slide it through there, and it will sharpen up any knife. It's good to have. You can put it on your belt if you're ready to take it out, or you can leave it in here. I do have a fire steel, so you can strike it. It's a striker, ferrocerium rod, and another lighter. You'll see multiple redundancies in here because I want to make sure you get where you're going. Um, and this is the toothpaste and so it got soap, soap in there, toothpaste. And we have utensils. So we have a knife, spoon, fork, and then we have a well, another lighter that's in there so it doesn't get wet and a can opener. You're going to need a can opener in case you come across any food that you need to open. So I'll put a can opener in there. And this is your little meal kit. Uh, you should be able to wash it up and keep it clean. And then you'll be able to eat, do that kind of thing. You have a, a lighter that doesn't get wet in case the pack does get wet. But it's it's just a redundancy. To make sure you're safe. Make sure if you have a bug out bag, you're ready to go. The trauma kit and all the other stuff we have in here. We do have a, a contractor bag in the front. Portage. And this is a sewing kit in case you need to sew something back onto the kit. You need to sew some pants up. You need to sew anything. You need to use it for fishing line. Well, I have fishing line in here, but you need anything you need to use for. And a bandana. There's a hundred uses for a bandana. So I put a bandana in there inside a Ziploc bag. So you can use the bag too. A comb. And these are fresh wipes that just clean you up if you can't take a shower and you feel kind of grimy, you have a couple wipes, you can wipe yourself off. They're makeup removers, but they work pretty good for cleaning gloss. Go ahead and show you what's inside the middle compartment. I do have a uh, fishing line. It's hard to make fishing lines. So I put a thing of fishing line in there and a little eating some napkin with some forks and spoons throw away and a headlamp this headlamp's rechargeable I, i've reviewed it before you can watch one of my videos in the past it's a pretty good thing and this is another lighter except this lighter is an arc lighter so see if i can open it you see that little purple yeah, it's an arc lighter and it's rechargeable. So you'll always have a way to light fires with this pack. Very heavy on the fire starter gear. And the, and the first aid. Little pack. 
uh, orange in case you want to be seen. Here's a beanie. In case you're out and you're lost, you need to be seen. Somebody can see it better with orange. And I didn't forget an orange vest. So I put an orange vest in here too. So you have the orange vest and the orange hat. And that's about it for that compartment. Now the final compartment. This compartment is where I keep my T-Rex. I found this the best duct tape is T-Rex. I like it the best. Um, another poncho for the rain. Uh, some vodka in case you need to start a fire, if you need first aid, if you need to clean out wounds, you, you need vodka or something, I have it in there. And this is a shovel, multi-tool. This does tons of stuff, so has a saw, has everything in it. It's a little gift I got from my brother-in-law, but I'm giving it away. It has a shovel and handles, and all the handles have stuff in them. They have tons of stuff in like fire rods, everything in that little shovel. Can't forget communications. So if you can get signal, you can listen to the weather band, and this radio is solar paneled, crank, and it will work. Then I've got a hammock. Put a hammock in here. This hammock can work with a tarp to keep you off the ground, keep you nice and warm with the blanket. So this is the hammock. It comes with two little straps in there. Straps are on both sides. It's a hammock. It's a good hammock. Tell me what else you'd like me to put in this pack. I want it to be a complete pack that I'm giving away for a thousand subscribers. If you know anything that you would put in this, please put them in the comments below and I'll add them to it. Um, I'm building this pack. We're at about 365, 366 subscribers. We have about 650 to go, somewhere around there. And we'll have our way to get out. This is just a little um, water bladder that's inside the pack that you can take off. You can fill up. Take a look at the outside of the pack. We do have a lot of stuff. It's not too bad. The only thing you're really hanging off is the first aid kit. You want to be able to get to that fast. And the cordage and a contractor bag. Everything else is pretty well snug in there. Um, I put those on the side just quick access. They won't, shouldn't catch on anything. Um, but you need a first aid kit. You need to get to it fast. You don't need to be digging through a pack if somebody's bleeding out. You just need to grab that tourniquet and take care of business. I had to put Molly on the pack and then this first aid kit's attached to it. This has been the Independent Prepper. Have a wonderful day. Thanks for watching.